Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Google AI mode for search feature when searching from the Google website. So if you use Google for your searches, if you like their search engine, you're used to this page, you know where you could talk to it or upload a picture or do an image search. But you might have noticed now that they have this AI mode button. And if you click on that, you get this AI mode search box here. And you can still upload pictures as well from here and also use your microphone. All right, so you might be wondering how is this different from just using Gemini? So it is similar in a lot of aspects, but it's also different as well. All right, so here is the AI mode for Google search compared to the Gemini interface where you have things like deep research, canvas, and image search. And we've actually played with this canvas mode here. So this is for more in-depth, you know, like story writing and that type of thing where it opens up a separate, uh, more formatted response. But when playing with it, it didn't seem to do a whole lot more than if you just use regular Gemini. So maybe they're still working on it. All right. So anyways, we have a little comparison here. So Gemini versus AI mode and search. So Gemini is the more powerful standalone AI assistant for creation and deep work. And then AI mode is a feature in Google search that uses the Gemini engine to provide a smarter conversational search experience with real time web context. So Gemini uses more of its knowledge base and other Google aspects for your results. Then on the other hand, the AI mode in search will still use web search results, but kind of consolidate it for you in the results rather than a bunch of uh, separate links to different websites. All right, so here's a side by side comparison. So Gemini's primary function is to be a creative and analytical partner and AI mode is a conversational search. All right, so Gemini takes your prompt and generates new content from scratch and can summarize documents you provide or AI mode is an enhancement to Google search. So that's a key point there. So it takes your query and gets information from multiple live websites and then presents it in a conversational format. All right, so Gemini, we have a dedicated interface separate from Google search, while AI for search appears within the standard Google search results page. And then we have some use cases here, and then we'll go over a couple examples. All right, so for Gemini, you know, you could use it to write a professional email, help debug uh, some Python functions, give you some ideas for blog posts, and summarize a PDF file. Where the AI mode for search, you could compare the specs of this particular phone, plan an itinerary for family trip in London, help you find some electric pressure washers, or explain the concept of dark matter. All right, so first we're going to start with Gemini here, and we're going to ask a question about blue screen errors on computers. All right, so how do I diagnose a Windows blue screen error on my PC? And one thing you notice too, going back to Canvas, uh, depending on what you ask, it might use Canvas automatically. And if it does and you don't want it to, you could just put in your query, you know, the same question without using Canvas and it'll just use the regular mode. All right, so let's see what Gemini says about this question here. All right, so we have a couple steps here. Note the error message. Analyze the mini dump file, perform some software troubleshooting, do some hardware checks, and that's about it. All right, so now let's try it in the AI mode. Same question. So you can see it's kicking off some searches here, so it's getting information from various websites. And you can see we have, even have some results on the side here for some video searches and other pages. Right, so we have gathered the information with some links down here related to it. Check event viewer, the YouTube video on how to do so. Analyze your crash dump files, a little information where to find them. Same type of hardware diagnostic suggestion with some actual steps you could take. Software and driver issues, troubleshooting, and some additional information down here. And you notice too, while you're here, you could change it with the same search and click on all and that will have the search in the regular Google mode here. 
and that way you'll see your regular results and then you can do videos and forums and so on one thing I've noticed too is sometimes when you switch to all this AI mode option will disappear and you'll have to go back instead of being able to click that so you if you run into that problem that's how you get around it All right, so let's go back here. Let's try something else. All right, so what are the best video cards for graphics intensive gaming? So we'll see what Gemini says about that. All right, so we have some suggestions here for top tier cards, high end, mid range. What to consider when choosing a video card, you know, pretty basic stuff. All right, let's see what AI mode says. So look at all the 174 sites it's looking at, getting some stuff from Google Shopping as well. Then we have some related articles off to the side here. Top choices for video cards with links. So let's see what this link takes us to, for example. So it takes us to search results for that particular card. And we have some more shopping results down here. And then some suggested related searches. All right, so you can see this kind of worked better for that type of question. I think it also worked better for the blue screen. So let's try one more that should work better for Google Gemini. Okay, write me a story about a dog who takes a rocket ship to the moon to find his brother. All right, let's see what Jim and I has to say about that. All right, so you can see it's using canvas mode because it switches over to this little side panel here. All right, so we won't go through the whole thing. But you can see here also in the canvas mode, you could have it change the length, change the tone, suggest some edits. And then you could also create a web page from this infographic, a quiz, audio overview, which may or may not apply. You know, like a quiz is not going to apply to this. You can do some formatting as well. All right, so pretty basic here. Let's just look at the first paragraph, for example. All right, so let's try this over here now. Still doing some searches. It actually gives you some suggestions about similar topics. So it's actually kind of similar to our results here. This one might be a little more detailed, but not by much. So not too bad. All right, so as you can see, they're both pretty useful tools. So I guess it depends on what you're trying to accomplish here. So maybe if you're trying to do things uh, that rely on web searches or you want to get results from web pages, use the AI mode. Whereas for the Gemini, you know, if we go back to this thing here, if you're doing some stuff with coding or having it create stuff from scratch, like make a PDF file or analyze, you know, a document, or create an email then you might be better off using Gemini but of course you could use them both you know put the same query into both and see uh, which result you like best all right so once again when you are on the Google search page here you should have this AI mode and if you're using edge for example you can see we still have it there as well all right so check it out and see which one you like all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe <coughs>